Good morning, this is Mission Control Houston. Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's edition of ISS Update this Thursday, December 27. You're joining us now inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room where the team here has been monitoring the systems aboard the station and supporting the day's activities of the Expedition 34 crew members. Leading the Orbit 2 team here in the Station Flight Control Room today is Flight Director Greg Whitney, and next to him is uh, Astronaut Jack Fisher, who's serving as a CAPCOM, relaying all ground messages up to the crew. And now aboard the International Space Station is Commander of the Complex, NASA Astronaut Kevin Ford, with uh, Flight Engineers Russian Cosmonauts Oleg Novitsky and Yevgeny Torelkin, who just began their third month in space, shown here on the left-hand side, and then uh, joining them, three new crew members, flight engineers Roman Romaninko, Chris Hadfield, and Tom Marshburn. They're on the right-hand side. The uh, newest crew members of Expedition 34, Romaninko, Hadfield, and Marshburn, arrived to the International Space Station last week on December 21st aboard their uh, Soyuz TMA-07M spacecraft after uh, docking it to the Rosfiat module following their launch on uh, December 19th. Today, the newcomers will complete their sixth day in space. Meanwhile, they are aboard the station to greet their new crew members. Commander Ford with Flight Engineers Novitsky and uh, Tarelkin had launched to the orbiting complex aboard their Soyuz spacecraft as Expedition 33 crew back in uh, October. Their vehicle docked to the Poisk module of the space station two days after their launch on October 25th, and today they will complete 64 consecutive days in space. The uh, space station with its crew aboard is flying now at an altitude of a little more than 260 statute miles. The uh, orbiting facility is on a night pass on a uh, southeast track having come across the Indian Ocean. Now making a uh, pass across the west coast of Australia and over the southern ocean before making a northeast turn just south of uh, New Zealand. The Expedition 34 crew members began their day with some time this morning for work prep, breakfast, morning hygiene, and a daily station inspection. The crew then kicked off the day with the first of two daily planning conferences with ground controls around the world to review the day's activities and plan for the next set of tasks. Commander Ford began his morning working with a science experiment known as InSpace-3 that looks at the changes of physical properties of colloids and uh, fluids in response to magnetic fields. This uh, research has possible technological application and structure design here on Earth, structures such as bridges and buildings, to better withstand earthquake forces. Currently, uh, Commander Ford and his crewmates, Novitsky, Tarokin, Romaninko, Hadfield, and Marshburn, are participating in an onboard training session to review uh, station's emergency hardware. The Expedition 34 crew will review the uh, locations of equipment and positions of valves required in uh, emergencies. The crew then will inspect each hatch throughout the orbiting complex in both the Russian and the U.S. segments, while uh, ground teams review the crew interactions in an emergency. After a conference with the ground following today's crew onboard training session, Ford and Flight Engineer Marshburn will spend the afternoon working with the Lego Bricks study that uses common Lego bricks to demonstrate simple science concepts and construction in, my, in a, a microgravity environment. Earlier this morning, Flight Engineer Chris Hadfield had uh, deployed small radiation bubble detectors at several locations across the station that uh, may provide important data for uh, accurate risk assessment of neutron radiation in space that could lead to advances to uh, reduce astronauts' exposure to radiation during future missions. And with Marshburn's help, Hadfield performed a session of the NeuroSPAT experiment. This is a human body study that studies the effect of gravitational context on brain processing. Shown here, Marshburn is assisting uh, Hadfield with the uh, EEG cap. Through a uh, virtual reality session, at least five cognitive processes are examined that include perception, attention, memorization, decision, and action.
Meanwhile, on the Russian side of the house, Russian flight engineers Oleg Novitsky, Yevgeny Tarelkin, and Roman Romaninko divide their day between hardware inventory, maintenance, and uh, several science experiments, including Matryoshka study that looks at the radiation environment dynamics of the space station. And each of the crew members will put in their daily two hours of exercise using the onboard gym equipment that includes a uh, station bicycle, a treadmill, and an advanced resistive exercise device that simulates weightlifting here on Earth. The crew will then wrap up their day with a final daily planning conference and is then scheduled to go to bed at 3.30 p.m. Central Time. This is Mission Control Houston.